You probably have never heard of this college before, but they are in fact the best team in the United Kingdom and have won three national championships in a row. The Bristol Bullets have a Travis Hunter-like talent and transferred literally from Colorado. I am not kidding. Dante Sparico was a defender from Colorado, but played wide receiver and DB for the Bullets. Not to mention he got snaps at quarterback and linebacker last year, the country's most versatile player, MVP. Also meet Hamish McClure. Not really sure what's going on with the eyeliner there, but he's an ex-quarterback from the Nevada. Rounding out the offense is Carrick and Brooks, a transfer from the University of Penn. He is a wrecking ball on the gridiron. This team has caught the attention of the NCAA. With conference realignment in full swing, King Sponge put in a good word and got them a bid in the MAC. It's time to find out what would happen if the best team in the UK joined the FBS. On the journey to a national championship, when it comes to recruiting, we need to slide in their DMs just like the Instagram page. In the UK, you got to get creative with recruiting. And as you can tell, the Instagram page has a link to a Microsoft forums where you can go ahead and express interest in becoming the next University of West England bullet. Enter your highlight reel, youtube.com slash kingsponge and hit that subscribe button if you're new here. So yeah, on the recruiting front, that's gonna cost us 10 points in every pursuit. Not only do we have to waste 10 points per player, we cannot recruit five stars until we prove ourselves in the Mac and get to a bowl game. So there it is, our first batch of 35 on the board. Look at Jam Bryce Ash, 93 speed safety and 94 speed Earl Kinder leading the way. We're gonna need some strong recruits like Dom Strong if we want to compete at the top level in the MAC, and then ultimately for the national championship. Should be a fun inaugural season here in the MAC. Definitely worried about how that Georgia game is going to go, but starting off the season against Liberty and then on the gray turf is a fun way to be introduced. It could prove to be more difficult since Stu Mack from the United Kingdom is not known for recruiting. He's bringing in his prowess in the motivator, architect, and scheme guru areas. Then our offensive coordinator, Chuck Sanders, and David Musket, the defensive coordinator, not too great either in the recruiting department. If there's scheme doesn't go well this year, they might be looking for another job. And here we go. The Bristol Bullets taking the field. First play to Trombley rumbling. McClure at the helm and the Bullets are already showing they're an aggressive unit going for it here on fourth down, not converting. So yeah, that was confusing. The six foot seven Sparico is now out here playing defense, the number one corner on this team, trying to come in and make a tackle. Trying to make England proud out here and that's not the start we're looking for. A steady dose of Brooks could sure help this offense as he rumbles on through. Third and short, gonna take Sparco back out on the zig. He's got it and he's going down the sideline. Be on the lookout for us to use him like a Travis Hunter, getting tons of volume. He's the Mac version of Travis Hunter and the most impressive part is that he's six foot five, 270 pounds. Meaning I can go ahead and chuck up a one-on-one -on -one ball and he has a good chance of coming down with it. Into the fourth quarter, it's been a low scoring game. Just need to get a stop here, containing the quarterback, making him throw it away fourth down. The best part about holding them to three is now we have one drive to go ahead and win it all. Slip screen to Brooks. This is a great chunk play to get started. McClure has had a real basic game. 160 yards, one int, one touchdown, and another int to pretty much seal it. The Flames upset the Bullets in their inaugural game. He tried to force it to Sparco a little too much, even when double coveraged, and that was a bad idea. Disappointing loss aside, Dom Strong and many others here like DJ O'Malley got to fill out the Microsoft form on our Instagram page. Excited to see guys like Larry Locke also express interest in joining the team. And yep, you see it right. Since we struggle at recruiting, that's not our forte. Taking up the DM player means we can't ever send the house until we upgrade our recruiting points. So it wasn't the best way to kick off the season in the last one, but now we get to take on the Eastern Michigan Eagles and we'll look to get our first win as a program in the FBS on the road. We're going to write off that last game like it was a sheer fluke and now I'm ready to show what the UK is made of. Dominance can go across seas. But to truly prove that we're gonna have to stop Snyder and the Eastern Michigan Eagles from running it down our throats on the gray turf. They're up quick with strike number one. On this third and five we'll go ahead and get Montgomery across the middle. First down moving the chains. McClure gets back in there gets the signal snaps and lets it rip to a wide open. No he missed him. You can't miss your wide open six foot five Sparco friend. So you know what we're petty. We're gonna do it again again, and this time we're not gonna miss. Risked it all on fourth down, but that's what we do. I can see it, man. Shades of Travis Hunter all over him. Let's go ahead and lob another big one-on-one -on -one ball to the outside. What was that angle? Positioned himself a little strange there, but he can make up for us on third and 10. We're gonna go back to it if we had time, that is. Fourth and 17 back against the wall. Who cares? We're snapping it anyway. We're reckless and wild like that. Trombley's gonna pick it up. 
great play call. The Bullets make a big statement right there. Pressure coming in, throwing it out to Sparico, picked off. That's gonna happen frequently, I can imagine, if we keep forcing it to our star player. Third and 10, we're gonna send in a blitz. I'm gonna take control of Sparico, who just got absolutely cooked. So far, UK Travis Hunter is playing like a Walmart Travis Hunter. So we're gonna have to get back to work and be diligent here with our opportunities. Sparico forced again into interception land. Three interceptions in the first two games. That's not a good look for McClure. But he's gonna need to settle down, take the easy completion, and of course get pen transfer Brooks more involved. Let's pound him the rock on fourth and inches. There he goes, breaking tackles and falling forward. First in 10. Going to Sparco, who cuts in through the defenders. First and goal. Out there on the outside as a decoy, zipping it back to the left. Ooh. Let's see if he can put on another move against that Eagle defender. I think he can. Secures it. Touchdown. His second of the day. That is what I'm talking about. Eagles fans seem to love it too, which is odd. Maybe secretly at heart, they're converting to the bullets. Third and 11. Now we're up by four. Just going to play some zone coverage as he gets decked. Down goes the quarterback. Bullets on top. We will have better games ahead, but hey, so far we're doing just enough. Bro, I cannot get over this man's eyeliner. Heck, if anything, it's going to keep striking fear into the opposition as we dial one up. Eagles looking to make the most of this opportunity. Third and 10 not many chances left fourth down snyder has the fourth down to work it here he goes he's not gonna go anywhere toddman for the bullets with the interception looking to return it let's go man u w e england this is my city 14 10 that's probably gonna be the game very well could be looking at the outcome the final all the above until Sparico says, hold on, I want more points. RPO gonna hand it off to Brooks. He's gonna find a hole, plunge forward to the two. One more time for Brooks. Come on, baby, fight, fight, fight. What a chug and run. This last play, this should be it. Fourth down, intercepted again to Toddman. He had the first and he will have the second. Dagger, showboat, six. Let's go. A bullet through the Eagles' heart. Bryce Todman out here having a game. Snyder, where were you going? The only place he will be going now is back to his dorm room to complete some homework for this next week's assignment because he's not going to be thinking about football. He just got shafted by Mr. McClure and Bryce Todman. Our dual threat in Dante here. Seven catches, 97 yards, two touchdowns while holding down his side of the field as well. Hamish McClure does not look like a long-term answer. I'm sorry. And that leads us to one in one through the first two. The rest of the the season you know a couple big games against mississippi state and georgia but the mac in itself we should be able to rack up some more wins i'm not gonna lie recruiting feels significantly harder with this dm player stipulation but we do have our first visit on the map for floyd jeffrey gonna visit versus the pandas not many four stars interested at levi bags may be the only trying to make up some ground on dell lincoln but yeah outside of those two with limited points and our sights set on some three stars we're gonna do the best we can the best solution is just to win more games up our prestige and maybe hire some new coordinators Amish finally turning it up, gets player of the week against Northern Illinois, and his performance impressed the likes of Floyd Jeffrey, our first recruit in bullet history. Gem running back out of Nightdale, North Carolina. Nightdale sounds like a fitting hometown to be a UK bullet. Persistent DM seem to be working on Levi Bags. I'm hoping we can bag him here in just a matter of weeks. Lost Del Lincoln. Larry Locks just about a lock. Fighting it out for Earl Kinder. But yeah, all in all, things are going really, really well. Five in one. Big win over the Pandas, Ohio Bobcats, and Northern Illinois Huskies. One thing led to another this year, and man, by the end of year one, 10-2, and 8-0 and in MAC play. We beat everyone in the conference, lost big to Georgia, of course. But check this out. We beat Mississippi State in week 10. They went 1-11, and an awful year. The big story, though, is this UK team is taking care of business in the MAC like they've been here forever. Along the way, we locked up some of our top guys like DJ, Bryce Ash, Miguel Cardoza, Dom Strong, George McCluster, Brenton Livings, Larry Locke, and Floyd Jeffrey. It's easier to make ground on recruits when you're winning. And winning is what we continue to do. Welcome to the MAC Championship. To celebrate, we're going to wear the championship gold helmets and black and yellow. I get this may be the MAC, but for first year appearances and my inaugural rebuild season, it never usually goes this good. And look at these bullets with the gold, gold tipped, going to be shooting on all cylinders. Got to get through the Red Hawks. Gal 
Albert and Co. They don't want to be denied. Championship game here at Ford Field where the Lions play. And first play is to English. Some English on that ball and over while getting hit. Let's pound the stone with Brooks, who's going to cut out left. Did not really work out like I thought it would. So we'll just dump it down low to Sparco. His first down came up big. He can come up even bigger if he puts together a scoring drive. Getting just within the red zone, Brooks is going to pound it forward. Now on third and four, I think we'll go across the middle, hit our boy. There he is at the one. That 270 pound receiver sure knows how to move it as McClure shakes one and delivers touchdown. Dante shoots the arrow and is on the board first. Really just rubbing it in here in the MAC championship game. Another dime at the end of the first quarter to Dante. Shooting his second arrow of the game is 21-0 bullets on top. Onward towards a royal beatdown. They may be from across the pond, but they sure are showing they can hang in there and play some American football. Back to Brooks and he scores touchdown, make it a four touchdown lead. If it wasn't obvious already, go ahead and chalk this thing up as a dub. Little flurry of scoring here at the end from the Red Hawks. Just need to get one first down and this thing is over. After a 10 and two season, I'm surprised we're not even getting any looks into the bracket. Must be hard to get any cred coming out of the Mac in general. So more than likely, we'll go ahead and claim this championship game, but that'll be all she wrote. If this is the final kneel down of year number one, what a success successful campaign for the Bullets in the United States. A team from the United Kingdom, 11 and two, secures the championship. Just textbook today from Dante McClure. Guys with previous D1 FBS experience, it makes sense that they're leading their new and young spunky group of Bullets to a championship game. Successful campaign ends in the Cure Bowl against Georgia Southern. All bias aside, I'm not really sure how we didn't get in the top 25 or even a look at 11 and two for the college football playoffs. We had a better record than the Big 12 champ and teams like Sam Houston who went 10 and three, not a bad season at all, but are ranked 20th and got the last seed. Could have been us. McClure after a rocky first couple of games in the season outperformed. Brooks did really well with his touches and you already know Dante Sparico was on another level. Oh my goodness, this was a stat line I didn't expect to see. Bryce Todman in his senior campaign. Way to go out, big man. Eight interceptions. Into the portal we go. We had so many options for players willing to trade it all and come to the UK. Alex Bowman here out of Tulane, four star, welcome. And then as I was scrolling down this big list, I found another four star, Nick Harbor. Wait a minute, the Nick Harbor. I can't make this up. I have to get this dude over to the UK. This is that 99 speed, 99 jump, I think, six foot five freak. I kid you not, I've never been able to land him in any of my dynasty rebuilds. And I'm on like, I don't even know, rebuild number 40 something at this point. I have to do whatever it takes to get Nick Harbor. Harbor. Moving on up the list, he still likes Maryland, but I see that his deal breaker is playing style. So I'm going to pre-fire and send him on a visit to attend our practice. Robert Hakeem from Florida seen enough. He's packing his bags for the UK. But where is Nick Harbor, man? We're falling behind. Oh no, it's going to be one of those too good to be true scenarios. He really wants to go to Maryland. I mean, just look at them stats. 99 speed, 99 excel. Knew it was too good to be true. Last chance, just going to hard sell something and shoot him one more DM saying, I miss you, Nick Harbor. Guys like Wyatt Wright, not much progress from opposition, so I'll shoot him a DM, see what's up. Truly, I am heartbroken. He chose Maryland after all, and we're left with a bunch of peanuts. At least we got a consolation prize from Tulane. It's Alex Bauman, Jabari Mack, Manu Garçon, Steven Tobin, and that'll round out an okay transfer portal period. 52nd in the nation, 16 three stars, one four star, but that bowl game appearance like we talked about, an 11 win camp pain is going to unlock us five stars this next season. Training results have us up to 82 overall, 84 defense. Should be good enough to run through the MAC once more. First batch of recruits looking pretty strong. Dom Strong, the star. Floyd Jeffrey should have an impact here in a year or two. Alex Bowman here out of Tulane, going to be the starter. A lot of young guys on the defensive line like Manu Garcon. Larry Locke's going to be a star in the game. All in all, we got a core that'll help us bridge into the next era because that next era starts now and look at all the three stars line lining up to get their name in the hat. We got right on the recruiting front and now we can look ahead at the schedule. Boston College looks tough. Mac opponents, a matchup against Iowa and Liberty, never easy, but hey, 
this one's ripe for the taking. Love seeing a preseason commit. Matt Rashad, welcome to the team. Now the real test begins. Number seven, Boston College. We have to do a little early season square down, hoedown with our rival. The city of Boston, anyways, historic in how things shaped up back in the day in the 13 colonies era. So that is why Boston College is a UK rival. And they mean business this year, a top 10 team early in year number two of the rebuild. Old Castellanos here and the Eagles looking to strike for their second touchdown. I was hoping to flip the script and have them running and saying the British are coming, the British are coming. But unlike the Revolutionary War this time, it's going to be different against Boston College, I hate to say. But they're proving me wrong. They're running backs hitting the Heisman pose, second touchdown of the day. McClure and the boys looking to get the party started in here. He's going to scramble out and just take off, pick up a good, what, 20, 30, keep rumbling. This is his senior campaign, and we got him some new toys just like Bauman there hauling it in. I want to see the two-lane transfer come alive for the bullets. So far, so good on two plays. I don't see anything opening up. Decked back for a loss. I'm going to just have to go to Bowman again. Third and 20, just going to throw a one-on-one -on -one ball to our main man. That was terrible all around. Oh my goodness. I have a bad feeling like we're going to be running a bit low on chances here so we have to strike third and goal boston college red zone defense putting in work on us right now i'm not gonna lie maybe this will do english just could not find a way in so it's fourth and goal we have to get in and i mean have to sparico sure-handed got it thank you dante and in the blink of an eye this game has changed we are tied up need a big conversion here on third and 10 stepping up don't want to get dropped for a safety jeesh at least our defense came through got the hold that now with two minutes to go in the game we'll call a fair catch and let's take our shot first play coming out spread them all out one-on-one -on -one maybe with sparico there no they don't one-on-one -on -one it english looked open and we got baited so that worked out exactly as boston college wanted it to and they're gonna have a chance to win it instead they choke their opportunity and give it right back now we can come here and do what we came to do show that uk can go ahead and flex their muscle but every time i come out here and talk smack i just get decked on my butt so i'm gonna call on sparico where's the pi third and nine they got down the field they're just gonna hand it off don't let him get the first. Seven seconds left, no timeouts. We're just gonna send one up to our guy. He got it. Ain't no way, no time left, no timeouts. We're gonna try to go to the star again in the end zone and it did not go through. So Boston College got down the field in the fourth, kicked their field goal, won it. We could not return the favor in thrilling fashion. After some successful DMs, filling out the interest form, Conrad Carby is visiting us here in week four. Looks like we've lost ground on Javier Durham, so we stopped sending DMs, sent the house, and got him a visit. I feel like if the relationship starts out as a DM, it's technically not breaking the rule we set at the earlier part of this video. Help couldn't come sooner if we want to compete with the likes of Boston College. And it looks like they just had a lovely visit to the UK. Ball State flew all the way overseas, but now have to flap their wings back to the United States, three and one, two and zero in the MAC. And look at our next batch of opponents, all the winless on the season so far. The MAC should be ours. Now there we go, Karakin releasing the Kraken for 163 and two scores. By the end of year two, we managed to get to the Myrtle Beach Bowl. But man, oh man, we need to have a discussion about the DMs. For starters, they just don't work. We only managed to land these four three stars during the regular season recruiting period. And trust me, that's really, really bad. 125th in the nation there were only seven teams worse than us so that was it man that was all i needed to see as general manager of this team i fired both coordinators and we're gonna hire some new ones my first candidate is none other than Juan story he's got a good spread and the recruiting points we like to see with that offer in the wings we can make our way over to defensive coordinator where parker coleman out of tulsa looks like the best bet maybe an f prestige but that's okay he's an elite recruiter we'll start his redemption arc here as for our senior years we're gonna send them out on a high note eight and four this year it didn't go exactly the way we wanted it dropped a couple of games including one to akron here towards the end which just knocked us out of college football playoff contention so we're here at the myrtle beach bowl little teal field action against the sam houston bearcats one of the seniors we're sure gonna miss is mcclure he has been productive leading this team to two winning seasons in the first two years of our existence what a strike to the two lane transfer bowman and we're on the board first so that's 
another senior that we're also trying to send out in style on defense we'll look to contain the bearcats third and five right here going for the big splash play but to be denied jones the third a senior db having quite a senior day so far love to see it back to the air sam houston goes and they're denied a second time two straight drives of unsuccessful football leads us right here to the third quarter where we can go ahead and cash in some more points maybe sparco is that guy what in the end it wasn't all flashy it was ground and pound wear you out type football fumble our ball as that is the uk way brooks why don't you go ahead and put the cherry on top diving with emphasis made a wide open catch look all the more extra a win is a win we'll go ahead and take this and gosh what a dominant day all around for the bullets especially the defense we had sam houston uncomfortable all day long i'm telling you man as brooks just throws down his muscle beefy boys got 170 rushing yards on the day so you already know i'm trying to finish it off with him we couldn't finish with brooks right here in the game because we got dropped back for a sack but he'll be able to finish later tonight now it's fourth and goal i'm going for it because why not already up 20 to zero i'm gonna see if we can make magic happen mcclure the senior get out of my way maybe hit a little heisman pose why not but nah in all seriousness we cleared this game in a big way 27-0 sam houston get out the way and like that hamish goes out on a high note we're on to year three before we get to year three i gotta still fill the offensive coordinator position we got rejected brennan everett here from old dominion is a new candidate and i like him here's my best offer for you brennan done deal we got him and stephen wolf was a big fan of this new coaching staff so much so he commits to us here in the offseason our first four-star in program history like i said it was a barren wasteland with the last coaching staff so already good news to see wolf make up his mind this is how the bracket panned out clemson on top not before long we'll be seeing the uk on top thomas mcclure out of here with a 38 touchdown season brooks with a good yards per carry clip rounds and sparico led the way thank goodness dante has one last season kendrick jones the third was six since didn't he have eight last year ah i'm just kidding i said dante has one more year well he's leaving and he's a first round pick so although this team is up half a star we have so many holes to fill oh my gosh dante was a sure thing but they went out and got brooks in the seventh in the transfer portal my biggest question is who's going to replace the quarterback and I don't see any quarterbacks interested in us. I do see Jaden Bellamy here the seventh best guy to target as well as some other good players like Christian Allegro from Wisconsin, Lindsey from Pittsburgh but yeah we might be cooked because just defensive players is not what we need. I'm worried that the offense is more decimated than we know. Wolf saw the writing in the wall and so did DeMarco Blank. Ready to make defenses blank when they see him. Well we might have solved one question. Glenn Gentry Jem three star our quarterback he could be the future i don't think we have any other options worst comes to worst let's just throw cone at quarterback sua cone the newest punter that is absolutely bonkers from 125 to 39 on national signing day what a class act some really big transfers but i think my favorite part is four star high school running back receiver and then a gem quarterback to lead us forward the gang's all here so there were a bunch of key departures yet we're still managing to put together an 84 overall team i said glenn gentry might be the truth and he might be he is a star but as of right now left-handed quarterback matt rashad is an impact player but he's got better speed and throw power i'll give him the first crack with his magician ability and jacob farrell can sit down demarco blank may be only normal dev but i'm excited to get him involved steven wolf also normal dev so that's a bummer but he's got some good stuff two notable players i want to call out bryce ash and afa singa elite dev out of temecula california they're making their presence felt this dude is up to 86 overall and those two defenders are red shirt freshmen ready to make their start while some chapters are just beginning others need to be uncovered desmond eddie would be an amazing addition at 99 speed receiver we want to bring him overseas also gonna shoot some dms to gem players like amari glennon and go ahead and give me one while you're at it for now let's go ahead and see if the future has arrived army bring it on as the u.s army invades the uk we are forced to defend our turf great stop by the temecula native on that last one fourth down is here therefore to go and it's no good out come the offense rashad i'm excited to see what you can do as the uk's next great it sucks you don't have a target like dante the last quarterback had but you can make magic happen strike number one cypress touchdown that was beautiful our first pass from rashad into the bucket 
Wow. You already know he's amped up about that result. Let's go. If you don't recall, actually, Rashad was one of the quarterbacks that committed to us in the very beginning. I think he was the only insta commit ahead of the season. So I'm excited to reward his loyalty to the team. We go ahead and pay it by giving him the first crack at the starting job. Over the middle, that looks like a safe bet to Cypress, his favorite target early. Hurrying up to the line of scrimmage. Let's go ahead and take the safe play to our big tight end Springs. He dropped it. Got to work better at helping the fresh out maybe fuse shoot i am not a happy camper about that but we'll go ahead and give it to ivy picks up the first let's keep it going a lack of stars out here on this offense it's gonna be tough sledding i think the max should be within reach but i'm worried about the rest of the league if we're gonna make a deeper run and hey you can chalk up rashad with his first career interception there's nothing like the first. Got a little desperate before halftime, but we'll go and find our friend Wolf who gets the first. Love to see the new kid on the block getting some snaps, getting some plays, making things happen just like Fuse. Treating the quarterback situation like an audition. If you do good, Rashad, you keep it. If you choke, well, let's not talk about what happens if you choke. Suddenly Rashad is ice cold, but he has a streaking receiver strong. Just bursted out of the gate and thankfully gives us the lead back. If we plug this thing up on fourth and five we should be home free out of reach for bellamy and 46 from army is out of here what the heck breaking tackles and actually out of here that was a little ridiculous don't you think with a minute and 20 to go i'm relying on a full team performance look at springs get free great protection got us into a good spot now we can go ahead and settle up for field goal range that is if i can get into field goal range you might think the 30s field goal range but with our luck and kicking it's not close enough we need closer fourth and one we literally just need one point this is the game on the line i don't know what we're doing but we got it rashad's gonna to keep it with a QB draw, hitting the left side of the field, getting some more big yards. This is where the fun begins. Rashard bouncing off offense alignment. I think we have field goal range, but maybe we can still pick up just a couple more. Yeah, that's good. First and goal, pitching that rock. Let's see if he can hit the outside. No. Timeout called. Let's take our three. Only 28 yards, and he made it. Wow, that scared me. Literally looked like it was on the verge of missing. It's always a good time to beat Army because they can be a scrappy bunch. I think Matt might be onto something. Player of the week in the MAC taking down Eastern Michigan. And strap in, folks. This is about to be a rocky road. We barely lose to Rutgers, take down Eastern Michigan. Let's see how we fare against the rest. Because fingers are crossed, we fare better with the recruits. Beer being one of them. Heck, maybe Juan makes a shocking revelation that he wants to come play for the UK. Ben Schubert, Desmond Eddy, I'm looking at you. Don't you dare consider Georgia. Amari. So we got clapped in the recruiting portal this year again. All the five stars on our board no go and i mean it kind of makes sense too that they're choosing these big schools like ohio state and georgia over a max school so plus 10 points for realism at least we got some four stars like abdul fabian got a tingle for dingle ulani darte at the end of the day i'm just trying to dm david wiener seems to be working thus far he is just a normal run to the mill three star getting clapped and no owen cheeks maybe dylan claps can be that man we still got a mac championship to play for and it's the first team we beat in year one That's that's right, Matt Rashad here, 37 touchdowns, a little high on the interception, but all in all, a good year. It was Devon Fuse who stepped up in a major way. Transfer Cameron Lindsay led the backfield with two interceptions. He's a linebacker, so that shows me we need some help from the corners. I haven't even taken one glance at the college football bracket because I want to keep it a surprise. I got to know, if we beat Miami, are we in? Let's see how in year three our team was built. It's been a slow rise. Like I said, some troubles there on the recruiting front, but hey, I little cash in here and just like that seven seven here in the fourth quarter nine and three but we are ranked so that's always a plus as springs brings it down matt rashad right now is hot he's throwing a couple interceptions looking a little shady that can go all out the window if he plays hero here wolf no siree on that one fuse has been the real star of this show and he couldn't do nothing on that last one either so we're gonna scramble with rashad 89 speed some blocks ahead of him fighting with a will to win. can strategically ice out the rest of this game if we just play our cards right. Two MAC championships in three years, that has a nice ring to it. It starts right here on this play underneath McColster. 
Can he fight? No. On fourth and one, what shall we do? Let us go with the handoff, a classic play in football. And that's why we don't do it. But in a shocking turn of events, we got the turnover and we have the ball. Just going to use one more play here to position our field goal kicker more on the middle. There we go. That's better for the sophomore. Deep breath, knees weak, arms are heavy. Vomit on his sweater already. Mom spaghetti. It's up and it's good. We win. That is two MAC championships snatched out of the Red Hawks' reach. Sad day indeed. We did not crack into the bracket. Instead, we got the Camellia Bowl. USC got the last laugh. I'm just waiting until they give the UK a crack. Maybe at the 12th seed, a MAC championship, a good season. I think if we just lose less than three games we've lost three at least i think in each season so if we lose like two one we're in we keep creeping up half a start of time three full stars of prestige we're a serious program i guess we're not serious enough for nico jones he got hurt on the season medium chance of persuading please stay let's go that's big nico's a 85 overall the better and better we become the less likely any of these guys want to come play for us and to be frank i'm not really interested in a bunch of these two stars all the guys i'm interested in are locked away i think we're making some good Good progress with more four-star signees this year. Ash continues to improve in his personal development, and we're up to our best squad yet. Okay, making some headway. Ain't no way we're gonna have a George London atop the board. This UK rebuild was meant to be George London, six foot two specimen. And did you guys catch that? The best part, he's a gem, a five star. My London bridge is coming down. 97 speed, 97 jump, 90 spec catch. We need to bring him in. I'm gonna get hot and bothered if we can manage to bring this boy in. All the while, Dion Weil, five-star gem, scrambling quarterback athlete. Yeah, I'm just saying this class is looking to be loaded to be the one to set us up for future generations. Even the big boys in the trenches like Isaiah Henry came to play. Starting off the year four campaign looking strong like a repeat Mac offender. Seems like Temple's been up to a little rebuild of their own, so we're gonna test out the new squad, how it looks, how it feels, how we play on this turf. For starters, it looks like Temple's got themselves a star quarterback, so good for them. I think what's even more surprising to me is not the goodness of Temple, but maybe the intriguing decision to go with quarterback Farrell at quarterback. It looks like he had a great campaign in the offseason, hitting the weight room, getting ready for his final year eligibility. And shoot, I sure hope so. We need some action out of him if he really wants to be the guy for this team. So far, he hasn't proved a thing in this game. Fourth and 10, we're literally forced to do this. We do connect to Cypress. Let's hope we can get some points. Third and six across the middle. It's strong our fresh London recruit. We have been making the United Kingdom proud ever since we joined the league, but a championship is the ultimate sign of success. We ain't stopping until we get this thing locked up. By far Jacob's best drive of the day, quarterbacking the team. Gonna go over the middle and connect Cypress. Tutty, who said there isn't a chance for heroics. Farrell has under two minutes to work, get down the field, put some more points back on that board. But if I had to bet, senior Jacob Farrell should be experienced in feeling good. Third and 18, the senior has composure to step up deliver a ball to Strong. It's not Jacob's fault Strong wasn't composed to catch it. Forced to go, fourth and 18, hit. No good. But folks, that's why you hold on to your timeouts. We burned them all just to get a chance here on this drive. Dom Strong making up for it with that catch right there, but that was terrible interception to end the game. Oh and one. Not the way I was hoping to start the season. Halfway through this season, and geez, it's not looking the greatest. Three and three, we gotta turn it up. Guys like Jason Paul need to come in here and turn us up a notch. Because the Bullets had their worst season in year four. Seven and five, a couple losing streaks in between. I think it was Jacob Farrell, the senior, just didn't have the it factor in him. So we'll move on past him this next season for year number five, where we hope to finally get the MAC championship and that berth into the sweet playoffs. Can't afford losing some of our best guys. I cannot have any of them jump ship. Thankfully, Ash is a guaranteed persuasion. Can't say the same about Jones the second. Yes, he comes back for one more season. Fabian, the rookie. Kearns, the young gun. No. I think we finally make it in out the MAC with this team. DeMarco Blank, normal dev, finally stepping it up. 87 overall. Dom Strong up to a 90. New star receiver on the block. Jason Paul, six foot five from minnesota should make an immediate contribution the defense is as deep as it's ever been and we're gonna prove that this is our best squad this is our year 
in year five and we're kicking off the season in boulder colorado to spoil prime time he's never played a football team quite like us they might be ranked 12th in the nation but they don't have the guys we got as i was saying they don't got exactly what we got strong bottled up not able to get free and now fourth and nine sending blanket out in motion let's see if we can hit strong here on a quick strike no not strong but that's Polaris, he's got it. Our fourth string redshirt freshman hauling it in. Like I said, we're deep with Wolf, Polaris, and Strong. Not to mention, like I said, Rashard's back at the helm, and that is a good sign for this team. Could not connect on the last shot, but like I said, defense keeping us in this one. Rashad knows how to play some ball. He's going to deliver that ball back to Polaris. The young gun receiver from Hawaii making his presence felt in this one. Blank throwing a man down and going forward. Nine yards, two minutes before half. We're going to get dropped. I saw that from a mile away. I think the right play call is just a simple slant. When you got a guy like Strong, I thought he would get free. Young buck kicker, not so young anymore. Does he have the leg? Eh. Whatever we do, we cannot choke this game against a ranked opponent in Colorado. I'm telling you. Defense playing like world beaters. They've set us up yet again with a golden opportunity. Folk on the first one. Wolf to finish it off. Touchdown bullets. Shot through the heart in your two blame. All right, now 14 6 in the final minutes, waning in this one. First look at this stellar defense that I've been boasting about. Uh. Maybe, is it too late to redact what I said? I'll go ahead and keep my mouth shut for now. Let's finish this game off, get the first down, chew their timeouts, do what we gotta do. Third and four inside zone. Yes, stick with it. There's one timeout, DeMarco Blank doing his part. There's two. Looks like they're really stacking the box, but we'll hand it off anyway. Cutting up the hole, he's got a lane. And you know what we just did? This MAC team upsets Big 12, number 12, Colorado. Bullets on top, one and oh to start year five. This is the dream season. Our usual MAC dominance outdoing all other MAC teams, but I'm just left here studying the film. What happened in that one game? We dropped one in this 11 and one campaign, 28 to 17. David Samuel, one touchdown, one in. So what was it? Reshot, not that impressive. Nothing really stands out to me on paper. I guess we just got to do better. And that better needs to come right now in this game against Buffalo in the MAC championship, our third round at it in the last five seasons. The Sim determining our fate, low scoring 3-0, 6-0, 9-0. Third and nine burning Buffalo timeouts, third and four flag on the play, first and 10. That really should be it. Really low scoring game, nine to seven, no offense whatsoever. Did you know the Mac is built for defense? Championship trophy in hand, we secured the three seed. This team from the United Kingdom is ready to make their run. And it looks like Stanford's the one to get by their opponent and face us in the Cotton Bowl. Pumped up, ready to dominate in the Cotton Bowl. It's that fan again. He's been at every game for the UK Bullets. And he's going to be supporting and riding high for us every step of the way i have a feeling because our journey doesn't end today it's just getting started against the cardinal to prove it to you rashad's got a little answer for all the doubters boom springs sideline first and goal and the underclassman lefty slinger on the biggest stage of his life touchdown back to springs he's got a friend defense has been a big part of the identity of this team they're a reason why we're here i'm gonna need them to keep firing in all cylinders so we can go ahead and keep taking more chances like this fourth down strong booyah now what do you say polaris wolf who are you feeling? A scramble drill maybe to the right side of the field. Flag on the play. Oh, come on, man. Holding. Gotta ruin my vibe there, my guy. That's not okay. I'm gonna strategically chew clock because I know Stanford can be dangerous here in the two-minute drill. If I chew clock while still trying to score, that gives them less opportunity to do so in case things go south, let's just say. Polaris. See, instead of a whopping one minute, 20 seconds, we give them 20 seconds, take our three points, and go up 10-0 to possession. Stanford's not the only one smart out here. It worked, and you know what's been working all day? Defense with a capital D, I'm telling you. Fourth and inches, I need that defense more than ever right now, and they hold. Anyone else loves sweet, sweet D, defense that is. Let's not go to the getters, folks. Touchdown, Wolf. 
we're gonna win this one. Nothing like cruising to victory 24-6. Stanford had no chance. Nothing like seeing if your American college football team out of the UK is up to par than facing the Ohio State Buckeyes in the Peach Bowl. It's hard for our strength, the defense, to be a strength when you're playing the Buckeyes. But we're gonna need to help our team out as much as we can by getting as many points as we possibly can. Strong had the first one and we badly need more with a two-minute drill ensuing. Here we go. I got a streaker across the field. Whoa. Wolf, Wolfie, baby. Ow! All right, do it again for me, baby. I forced it. I just pre-fired that so hard. Oh, can we hold on, please? This game's got me sweating bullets. No pun intended. We need points so I can try to end this thing. Uh, fourth and one. I expected a blitz, so I'm surprised nothing came in. Time to go. Reshot first. Red zone action. Time to lock in. Sprinting out to our left. Look at that. Wolf, no. Are you kidding me, Wolf? You were wide open for six, but thankfully, Jeffrey, one of our first signees out of like our first class. I literally remember you. 27. Where have you been all my life? Still enough time left for Ohio State to do Ohio Ohio State things, but hold on now. Ooh, almost had another wolf howl in me there, Jeffrey. Third and four, inside cross. Big tight end McCluster holds on. Don't want to jinx anything, but we're about to do it to him. Chewing clock and looking for sweet, sweet pay dirt. Jeffrey here at the two minute drill, just a handoff, insurance touchdown. That's game. Ohio State knocked off. Celebration in time for the big dance. The final game awaits. Here it is Notre Dame fighting Irish. One more dance. And this is the path we took to get here. Three seed versus eight seed. What a run. Was going to wear our gold championship unis. It only seemed right. But you know what? The road warriors, the white and black bullet unis have given us good luck all tournament long. Let's beat the Irish. Down a quick touchdown to a good Notre Dame team, I must add. Polaris gets us to first and goal. From here, Springs earned a star at the right time as I tried to force feed the man six. Instead, we'll go back to Polaris. Great play, great security. We're all tied up. Polaris been hitting his Pilates out here. He's really nimble for the game. No matter the amount of Pilates he was doing, it's crunch time. We're losing this game. No way. Let's go win it now. Fourth quarter action. Notre Dame has definitely turned it up a notch springs took a shot coach wants us to punt i say no way get that first down it didn't work but we have one more chance what's it gonna be over the middle springs catch and run wolf has a tight one-on-one -on -one matchup on the outside i'm keeping an eye on it it didn't really get free didn't really work polaris couldn't even hold it oh man wolf again one-on-one -on -one with a star db i'm keeping my eyes peeled on it but the true freshman comes through let's go we're calling upon everyone today to make this dream come alive and down the drain just like that so the uk came they saw did not conquer that is a costly pick what was he thinking that's why he's a sophomore folks and that is the first time i don't think i've completed a dynasty rebuild the bullets fall short and collapse at the end of our timeline coaching this UK team. We had five years to get them right, and they fall to Notre Dame on a costly error end of the game. What a run it was. We stumped some real good teams, and I think the UK Bullets are on the precipice of greatness if it just continued on. Nonetheless, I had a lot of fun playing this Dynasty Rebuild, and if you enjoyed this College Football 25 content, if you want to see more international teams, if you want to see more crazy team builders, if you want to have a lot of fun along the way. Keep soaking it up with King Sponge, and I'll keep bringing y'all the fresh college football content. Subscribe, like, leave a comment down below. I'll catch y'all in the next.